Hi there and welcome to tutorial number three. Today we're going to be looking at a whistle sound and I've taken my inspiration from Tamita, uh, Snowflakes Are Dancing, and a lot of the sounds that are used in my um, Mozart piece, the uh, clarinet concerto, which you heard on the demo uh, of uh, Behringer Neutron. Um, so I'm going to go over all those sounds. So this is the whistle sound and here's what it sounds like. And first we'll start with an initial setting which you can find on tutorial number one. Sounds something like that. Okay, so on the whistle sound we're going to use an eight foot pitch. We're only going to use oscillator one. So I put the oscillator mix all the way across to the left for oscillator one. And we're selecting a sine wave. Sine wave there. The pulse width um, just needs to be in the middle. So that's good. The filter, uh, we're going to use a bandpass filter for this one, which is the middle setting. And the frequency is going to be, and you can refer to the more accurate settings on the uh, graphic display, uh, but the frequency setting is um, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, about half past two there. Uh, resonance zero, no key track, just make sure that's out, that's it. The filter depth, we're going to use uh, an eight o'clock setting there, and the envelope depth is zero. Uh, while we're down here, we're going to use a little bit of noise, and we're going to probably tweak that a little bit as we go. Let's just hear what that sounds like. Quite mellow at the moment. Um, and the LFO section, the rate is now you have to twiddle with this a bit to get the rate just exactly right, but we'll, we'll twiddle with that in a second. But it's sort of about half past 11 going towards 12 o'clock. Uh, and it's on a sine wave. Now we go to the delay setting. Uh, delay obviously is optional according to the mix, but I'm gonna put uh, the delay time there in the middle, right up at the top there. The repeats are going to be round about there. And again, refer to the graphic above. Uh, the mix, we're going to put it around about here. Um, drive, surprisingly, is um, at the top there because we, we get a bit of extra level out of this overdrive section if we put all of these right at the top. And then the envelopes. So envelope number one, we've got a slow fade in there. Um, we've got a decay of about there and sustain of about there. A little bit of release. Envelope two, uh, we've got, uh, in that actual fact, we've got zero there. Uh, decay is round about there. No sustain and release round about there. So we need really to, to start using the patch bay. Um, and the first thing that we're going to patch is envelope two, out of envelope two, into invert. Now the reason I'm doing that is that, um, funnily enough, the output of envelope two is already inverted, but I want to invert it back again. So now I'm going to take invert out, plug it into attenuator one, which is this chap here, and we're going to put that up to out there. Now let's just hear the sound of that, the effect of that. Can't fit hear the effect of that at the moment, but uh, we'll continue. And we need, um, let's have a quick look there. We've got, ah, that's right, attenuator one out into oscillator one. Now we'll hear it. And that's giving a swoop to the sound, which is what you need for a whistle. Um, let's take this cable and the attenuator two, so we'll patch that in first, is going to go into oscillators one and two. And then we need attenuator two, oh sorry, uh, LFO out into attenuator 
to in. And that's going to control vibrato. So we need a little bit of vibrato and a little bit of pitch swoop. Um, on the keyboard device that you're using or the computer, you'll need to up the octave. And with a bit of fiddling about with the attenuators and the LFO rate, you get a nice whistle effect. And now um, a, a few comments on what I've just done. Um, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that the tune control should have been up an octave. That's by ear. You can, of course, tune it more accurately when you, when you tune it yourself. So should sound something like that. Now we're only using one oscillator here, but if we used um, oscillator two, and brought that into the mix. Also take it up an octave. We get two chaps whistling there, don't we? Uh, because the oscillator one has got the pitch bend in on the attenuator one. But oscillator two hasn't, so you get, get the effect of two people whistling. Now, one of the great things about the Neutron is this knob here, paraphonic. That means that we can have two people whistling, but they can play two different tunes, whistle two different tunes, or harmony. Or you can play it singly and have the two chaps whistling again. All right, that concludes uh, tutorial number three. I'll be doing a few more of the sounds on later tutorials.